Hello, welcome to School of Nursing and Midwifery, Trinity College, Dublin's Open Day. My name is Amanda Phelan. I'm a professor in ageing and community nursing in the school. I'm also program coordinator for the dementia programmes. Today we're going to talk about Trinity College Dublin, the School of Nursing and Midwifery, the programme focus, the application process and modules within the programme. Trinity College Dublin is a historic campus established in 1572 and located in the city centre of Dublin. It comprises three faculties. Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Science, the Faculty of Engineering, Mathematics and Science and the Faculty of Health Sciences. In all, we have over 18,000 students on our undergraduate and postgraduate programmes and this represents a diverse population with students from multiple backgrounds in over 120 countries. This enriches our ability to deliver global level education where we can share experiences within countries, within backgrounds. Our rankings globally are first in Ireland and 101st globally. We also have world-class facilities with the largest library in the Republic of Ireland. And we also have world-class educational technology facilities, administrative support and education. The School of Nursing and Midwifery is ranked first in Ireland and 48th in world rankings. This reflects the excellence in scholarship and teaching within the school and the diversity of our student population. Our student population is mainly nurses and midwives, but programmes such as the dementia programmes attract students from other health and social care disciplines. Our focus is student-centred to support each student in their learning journey and to foster individual and peer learning. Our teaching staff are world leaders who have impact both nationally and internationally within the subject areas they teach. Our mission is improving health at an individual community, societal and global level. This centre is around competency development and our focus is to improve healthcare practice, management, leadership, research, ultimately guiding learning and enhancing students' expertise in their chosen areas of study. The dementia programmes have multiple focus. We will guide students to appreciate the national and international context of dementia and dementia care. Students will identify and critically analyse the different philosophies, perspectives and approaches that inform best practice in dementia care. We promote positive attitudes and enhanced understanding of the experience of living with dementia. We value the importance of involving persons with dementia in developing high quality dementia care services that meet their actual needs. We aim to provide students an advancement in their professional knowledge in supporting persons with dementia through enhanced knowledge, reflective skills and research-based evidence. And the programme will let you critically appraise methods of accurate assessment, differential diagnosis and understand pharmacological and non-pharmacological approaches to the management of dementia. In addition, you will learn how to communicate effectively with persons with dementia their informal caregivers and other professionals across the continuum of care. To also to critically analyse the relevance and application of the principles and philosophy of palliative care and end of life care in meeting the needs of persons with dementia. Students learn to differentiate the distinct contribution of team members in an interdisciplinary model of dementia care practice and appreciate the need for effective collaboration with other disciplines. This involves identifying, leading, conducting, disseminating and publishing research which advances excellence in dementia care practice at the local, national and international context. And students also learn to exercise administrative and intellectual leadership within their profession by contributing to policy development and a translation into practice. So let's look at the context of dementia care. Dementia care requires a growing multi-professional discipline throughout the world as the incidence and prevalence increases. Expert dementia care then becomes increasingly important. And this is interdisciplinary, so interprofessional education in dementia care represents a way forward with regard to improving the understanding of professional roles and collaboration in delivering quality services and also policy development. So, in effect, if dementia services are to be improved now and into the future, you need a responsive integrated health service and social pathways which are needed for people with dementia and their caregivers. So what we aim to do is provide graduates of this programme 
to apply their learning and they are expected to promote and develop excellence in their practice setting and work competently within a person-centred approach and within a multidisciplinary team environment. So the aim of the programme is, is an interdisciplinary programme is to facilitate students' development of comprehensive academic and evidence base to their practice and to critically explore and critique dementia care services and their delivery. The programme does have an option to undertake a clinical module. For students who have opted for this, there is a depth presentation at the orientation stage for both students and preceptors. However, please note, students are required to source their own clinical placements and make suitable arrangements which comply with the programme requirements. So on completion of this programme, students will have learned a range of expertise from experienced academics and clinicians to facilitate uh, their application and learning within the University of Dublin, Trinity College Dublin and within the clinical areas. In terms of applications, applications are online through the TCD portal. You'll find this on the web page for this specific programme in TCD. It's important to understand the criteria for application. We require applicants to have a primary degree with a 2-1, that's a second class honours, as a minimum. This is equivalent to a 3.3 GPA grade point average. If you're registered with a professional body, for example, nurse, midwife, doctor, we will require you to demonstrate that you have current registration with that professional body. If English is not your first language, or if your undergraduate degree was not conducted in English, we will require an English language <laughs> test. For example, the IETLS, or there are other similar tests which are identified on our webpage. But please take note of the minimum requirements. For example, the IETLS score must have an overall score of 6.5 or above, and also individual scores in the categories of 6.5 as a minimum. We also require other documentation, for example, references, and details of these are on the application webpage. The programme works under European Credit Transfer System, or ECTS. These are tools for European higher education area and help students to move between countries and have academic qualifications and study periods abroad recognised. Within the dementia programmes, we have a postgraduate certificate that attracts 30 ECTS, a postgraduate diploma which attracts 60 ECTS and a master's which is 90 ECTS. Just from a breakdown of the programme, in year one, there is generally a full week in September and thereafter one day a week within semesters. Year two on part-time programmes is attendance at workshops throughout the year. Full-time students on the master's programme have lectures for the first three weeks of the semester and they're scheduled for class on more than one day during the semester. In terms of theoretical instruction, we deliver our classes through a blended learning approach, which underpins the component of programme delivery. This means a combined online and face to face content delivery. And the medium we used for this is Blackboard. However, please note that due to the pandemic, we had to have alterations in our schedules and any alterations in September 2021 would be notified if feasible and possible and will comply to public health advice at that point in time. In terms of the postgraduate cert in dementia, this comprises of three modules. They each attract 10 ECTS, amounting to 30 ECTS. All of these modules are online. These are ways of understanding dementia and dementia care, critical issues in assessment and care planning, enhancing the experience of living with dementia. The postgraduate diploma is 60 ECTS. The modules that are completed are Ways of Understanding Dementia and Dementia Care, Critical Issues in Assessment and Care Planning, Enhancing the Experience of Living with Dementia, Fundamentals of Palliative Care and End of Life Care, Theory and Practice of Inquiry, Methods for Health Care, and students get a choice of Ethics and Law in Health and Social Care or the Clinical Practice module. That amounts to 60 ECTS. For the master's programme, 
you complete the modules in the postgraduate diploma in year one if you're doing a part-time master's. This gives you 60 credits at the end of year one. In year two, you undertake the dissertation, which is 30 ECTS. Full-time students on the programme will combine both year one and year two in one year and complete 90 credits in a single year. The programmes in dementia care offer students a way to positively impact on the health of people living with dementia and their families by integrating multiple competencies related to dementia care. Dementia is rising globally, so this programme is very important in terms of enhancing knowledge in relationships with people with dementia, but also in terms of the skills and competencies required to deliver care. The programmes enable students to develop innovations, contribute to practice improvement and policy development. The programme also enables students from diverse health and social care disciplines and different countries and cultures to share experiences and learning. So if you'd like to join us on the Dementia programme, applications are online for September 2021. You can go to this website address to access the programmes and for additional information, please contact afeelin1 at tcd.ie. Thank you very much.